Hey guys, welcome back for another vlog for Freedom Friday. I am so happy to be with you guys today. Hopefully you guys have had an amazing week so far. And uh, hopefully your weekend is off to a great start. So I have tried to prop this thing up and like it's just not working. It's not letting me be great today. So I need to find me something. Leave me a comment, let me know. How, should I, how, do, I, how do you prop your phone up to record? So until I get my house and get my filming room, then you know, it's just gonna be like I'm trying to walk out, but I need something anyway. Um, trying to keep that little boy out of my face, <laughs> anyway. So, uh, what did I do today? Well, this week has been awesome for me. Um, I, see, I got my photos back for my photo shoot for my marketing and branding and stuff, which was great. I have a great headshot now, which I'm so excited about, and I just booked my first interview and like for the first time in like a year because I took a I basically took a year off to focus on paying off debt and getting finances in order and things of that sort um, so that I could be 100% self-employed because if you have a lot of debt on you it's hard to even think about like working as a like self-employment because you need that steady stream of income because you got all these bills to pay so yeah so um Never mind. Anyway, so you know, so I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live. You can check out my Facebook page, my Instagram page, at Amanda Burston, and check that out. We're going to be talking about uh, teen addiction uh, or substance use. Excuse me, teenagers who use substance abuse, like warning signs and giving tips and things of that sort. So uh, definitely check that out. And um, I have another interview that's coming up soon. I'm waiting on information on that, and I have just so, so much more stuff coming. Um, my book should go on pre-sale next month, and it should be released in June. So I'll give you guys definitely an official date whenever um, all that is together. So in terms of my business, you know, counseling and things of that sort, I this month, I think the 28th will be four months. It seems like it's been longer than that, and I think the reason why is because I started last June, I believe, doing the contract work. And I was doing it part-time. So I had a full-time job working in a methadone clinic, and I was doing the contract work. So it's, it feels more like it's a year, but like being 100% self-employed, where this is a, like, I don't work a full-time job while doing this work, it's only been like three months, almost four months now. And my point today was that it just feels so amazing to no longer have that scarcity complex. Now, what that looks like for me is that it's that feeling of that fear and feeling like you never have enough, feeling like um, just that, that fear associated with not having enough. Like, there's no other way to say it. Like, um, always worried about paying the bills, always worried about making sure you you have enough money to cover stuff like I grew up with that scarcity complex there was never really a sense of security and I saw you know my mom struggled with you know being a single mom and, and trying to pay bills and take care of three children so because I was the oldest I I heard it all I knew everything that was going on I knew that that we were facing an eviction I knew when the lights were on almost cut off I knew like I would go to school knowing that I might come home and the lights are off so it developed that scarcity complex in me where you know I just always felt like there wasn't enough and I was always in fear and what I realized though is that when you met it like I have an astrologer that I follow his name is Gregory Scott excuse me Gregory Scott on uh, YouTube and he says that when we worry that's meditation on the negative yeah like when you're wor when we're worried about stuff, we're meditating on that. Which, if you you know study the universe and how that works, affirmations and things of that sort, whatever you're thinking, you know you're transmitting that energy out into the universe, and so it's going to multiply, it's going to increase. So if you're constantly worried about money, then you're going to have money problems. You're going to have things that come up and you can't afford to take care of them. Uh, if you're constantly worried about your spouse cheating you know you might manifest that because you're going to be constantly accusing them so they you know you start to push them further and further away now that's not giving them an excuse to do it but i'm just saying like we have to be careful what we focus on because what we focus on is what's going to increase 
and we can bring that into uh to reality manifest that into reality and so for me what i've been doing over the past four months is you know practicing a spirit of gratitude operating in a spirit of gratitude and practicing meditating on abundance attracting abundance and so that i never like i don't feel like i don't have enough i actually have more than enough i have more than what i need to survive and to maintain myself and my children and you know i am grateful last night i stayed up i stayed up to like one o'clock this morning like and i knew when i had no one i had a meeting today but like today is like my day off like i'm not seeing any clients or anything like that but i stayed up all like i was working all day yesterday um and i stayed up all night and i was working on my invoice now you know one of my direct deposits it comes through today and i got that and it was over two grand right for one week because i told you i think i told you guys last week that my goal is about twenty five hundred dollars minimum of a week that's my goal um just to stay on that 10 grand six or excuse me five figure a month income goal that's my goal and um or no less than eight grand a month that's my goal really and so um that was manifested that happened and then yesterday i submitted well this morning i, I finished up my invoice for this week's work uh, of work that i saw with clients and stuff and that was over 2500 so i actually exceeded my goal for the week so and, and i'll get that next week and and the interesting thing is that you know of course i pay myself and the, out of the portion that I pay myself, most of that goes to savings and it's going toward the down payment for my house and this summer. And I'm just thinking like, you know, I earn this money, but I don't necessarily need, it's not like, oh, I need this to pay the rent or I need this to do that. It's like, I have enough money. It covers my basic, like my expenses, but also $1,500, $2,000, whatever it goes to savings. Like it's not something that's like, you need I need it to survive I need it to pay my bills like and that in itself is like crazy and honestly the reality is is that what I make in a week now I used to make that in a month like not even a, two years ago or something you know what I'm saying like and I work for myself like I don't have anybody tell me what to do like I'm on my own schedule and like it just it just it just amazes me and I'm just so grateful that I no longer have to operate from that that scarcity complex or that scarcity mentality of like always being fearful of not having enough and um I'm just so grateful like my anxiety levels have significantly increased decreased and the, re the crazy thing is that you know I thought that I'd be more fearful of working for myself and literally having to produce every penny of income that I make. It comes from me. It's from what I what I've done, the work that I create and the work that I serve provide services for. It's not like okay, well, you know, you, I check, clock into a job forty hours a week. I hope my hands are shaking too bad. I have I cannot hold this thing. You know, it's not like I clock into a job forty hours a week and. I'm guaranteed to make to bring in a certain paycheck every every two weeks, whatever. No, it's based on the, the services that I provide, and um, you know, like with with the regular paycheck, you know, you, you know, even if let's say you miss a day of work, like if you have PTO, you can you know plug that in and you still get your check. With being self-employed or you know business owner. It's not like that at all. It's like, if you don't work, you don't make money. <laughs> you don't work, you don't eat. And I have two children that are like puberty age now. And they eat like grown folks. Like, it's, like, it's like three people, three adults live in the house now at this point. They eat. But anyway, I'm just so grateful. Like words can't really describe how I feel kind of getting busy and hear somebody. Um, I'm just so grateful that I don't have to feel and operate in that, from that spirit of fear anymore. And... I know that it's only going to increase, you know. And today I actually met with a colleague and she and I are both like really big on real estate. And if you guys know I have I'm actually a licensed real estate broker in the state of North Carolina. I'm just inactive. I don't have my license active right now in terms of like I have to I have two choices. I have to either sign with a real estate firm or create my own firm. And uh, so that's it's actually kinda nice to have that as an option. If I ever want to go back into real estate I can at any moment, honestly. Um but I, I said, you know, when I do go back into real estate, because I am, I love real estate, I'm very passionate about it, then it's going to be 
as an investor um and actually i'm looking into being becoming a hard money lender because i would love to be on the lender side of it you know providing the capital for people versus borrowing and all that stuff. i don't I, don't, I really don't like debt, honestly. And if you've been following, you know that. I just, it's not my thing. Um, just want to see how that's going to work. Because if I don't like debt, then why would I lend people money? So I don't know. We'll see how it works. But I just know that I'm going to be on the investor side. But actually, my point was, I have a goal um, that next, this, this fall, that I want to secure at least, at least minimum one property uh investment property that's my absolute goal i cannot leave out of 2019 to have an investment property and um so we're meeting with uh, a property management management slash investor guy He's, he has like downtown atlanta on lock when it comes to like the single family homes and what type um like the apartments and stuff and a lot of them is for like low income families or the elderly they purchase or they rent from him but uh, she and I were talking about, we wanted to secure a couple properties because Atlanta, their, their real estate is so interesting. I'm gonna use that word. Um, and I, I'm excited to get involved in it. They are doing a lot of renovations and stuff downtown Atlanta. Um, and I think there's a lot of gen gentrification, honestly. I think I just said that word right. Honestly, and it's like, it's kind of sad, but I gotta, gotta roll with what's going on, you know, and then when I get in and see what it looks like, then I'll see. But I definitely want one of those properties because I know that I can rent them out and definitely make a profit. And my goal is to pay cash for my property. I don't want to do any borrowing. I want to pay cash for it. Um, well, I am going to pay cash for it. So I'm going to have that. Um, so I'm excited. You know, of course, I'm purchasing my home this summer. And... I am. I will say that my, you know, my credit score is going up, and I'm earning the income that I need to show my bank statements for my lenders, because I'm doing the bank statement loan, and you know they've kind of given me three months to kind of show that the income, and as of like this month right here, just based on the difference between March and April, because yesterday closed out the the uh, income for April, but I have literally doubled my income in one month, like that. Like I said. It just blows my mind and I'm so excited and so so grateful because like Dave Ramsey says the more you serve the more you earn like and it's not I'm not doing it crazy I'm not like like I'm literally just providing services I'm literally just doing what I love to do and in the process and in the meantime of all that I'm actually creating more streams of income and and stepping into another arena another level you know becoming a published author um, I will be opening, reopening my e-commerce store very soon. Um, actually, probably next month or the beginning of June. So I'm excited about that. Um, and of course, my YouTube channel. You guys are um, absolutely amazing. Like it has grown so fast. I only literally like less than 100 people left as far as to meet my 1,000 1, subscriber goal. And I cannot wait because once I get to that, like once I get it, the 4,100, 4,000 hours and the 1,000 subscribers then I can start working toward like filming season two of Life with Shamanda and some more things that I'm super excited about doing. Right now I'm keeping everything vlog style, but there's so many other ideas I have and I'm gonna be co collaborating with so many amazing creatives here in Atlanta and in Charlotte. So y'all, it's just so much that I'm so excited about and I'm just grateful because I know God is the one that's manifesting all this and making it happen. And honestly at this point it's just about me just following through like he's creating the avenues and the resources and putting the right people in place for me and i just gotta walk in that so you know i hope that you guys who are new business owners and entrepreneurs i hope that you guys are having a great time or a great experience so far i know it's not easy sometimes but you know we got to keep moving keep pushing forward we have people who look up to us and who are watching us and see to see if they can do it and you know we're setting an example um and if you don't have any business at all, I say I definitely encourage you to start a small business. Keep your job, keep your day job, please. You know, like by all means, but definitely start a small business. I think that's like the pillar, one of the pillars of wealth building. It absolutely is. Um, so make that happen. But anyway, I will see you guys next week. I will actually be in North Carolina next week, so I will see you guys then. Hopefully, I can shoot from one of my favorite spots. 
anyway i'll see you guys next week please if you haven't already take a moment to subscribe to my channel <laughs> and um i will see you guys <laughs> next time <laughs> bye